all Kairi Nasai Minasan. Today we are gonna talk about Baku Age Sentai Boom Boom Ja episode 6. Okay, so this episode focus a lot on introducing us to one of the generals, one of the commander, or should I say the executive of the villain itself, and that is Commander Natorex. Okay, so I feel like a lot of people, some people, I would say, I would not say a lot of people, some people is gonna misunderstood that Mad Rex is gonna be the final boss of the Hashilian, but no, okay. Hashili, uh, Mad Rex is just one of the commander of the Hashilian itself. Just think about an a organization. We have the final boss, and then we have the generals, and then we have the minions. Okay, so right now what we saw here on Earth, the the cat and the the boom speaker guy, the and and also the yellow cat, the three of them are kind of like ex op operative. Okay, they are kind of like reconnaissance team. They are being sent to Earth to to check out the situation and all those stuff. And right now. After them settling in for a little while, Mad Rex actually came to visit, see what what is going on, what what is causing them so much trouble, and and Mad Rex came immediately. He knew what is going on. He knew that the Boom Boom Jay is here and he's ready to fight with them. And that is really really fantastic. I felt like the in introduction of Mad Rex definitely wrap up a little bit of the seriousness meter of this show because we actually get to see Taya being the the more serious person right now and even though this episode focused a lot a lot on on how Chashiro really really want to find out like the secret uh, I, the secret personality of Akase Jo and that is why he, he kept on following him trying to see whether or not he is truly an upstanding and, and serious police officer or not okay but turns out at the end of the day Akase Jo is he, he is what he is okay and I felt like the character of Akase Jo is gonna be the perfect protagonist for a shonen anime for a shonen manga he is straight up the main protagonist there but right now in Super Sentai he is just one of the rangers he is not the leader but he is still a really really fantastic character and I love how the the dynamic between uh, Mira and, and Akase Jo actually is the both super hot headed super loud super excited like like rangers in the team like both of them is kind of be the dynamic make noisy the world something like that because when both of them is on on spot both of them is gonna be the most crazy and noisy person on the on the field itself okay so i, I really love how mira is so able to you know mix in with different characters so smoothly like even we we, we get to see how Mira and Chashiro, like both of them are able to mix in with one another so smoothly. Like their dynamic is also really, really good. And we we don't really get to see Taya spending a lot of time with Mira. And we don't even, if you really think about it, we don't really get to see Taya on screen for most of the episode. Like in, in until episode six, I think he, he doesn't really take the man lead in the episode except for episode one other than that we actually get to see mira taking the lead and then chashiro taking the lead and akase joe taking the lead so we don't really get to see him taking the lead but i feel like sooner or later he when when it comes for taya to take the lead we are eventually gonna learn his backstory how he meet with boom boom and and it's definitely gonna be a really epic episode okay so i'm really really excited for that so yeah i think when, when that actually happened, things are going to get really crazy and really, really interesting. But right now, the ISA, thanks to Boom Boom and Taya, is able to detect the appearance of Alien. And when I saw this scene being shown to us in the, in this episode, it actually makes me think, are we actually going to see the, the Boom Boom actually taking the fight to space or not? Because if they were to stop the Hashilian from entering Earth, one thing that they can do is to actually kind of like create a force field or create kind of like a first line of defense on, on the moon, something like that. To If they detect any aliens that is coming towards Earth, they can just launch the attack first and, and, and stop them from entering Earth, something like that. Kind of like the first lines of defense, something like that. But I don't think that is the direction of Boom Boom Ja. I feel like it is still gonna stay very, very grounded on Earth we are not going to space anytime soon but then again never say never okay maybe at the end of the story we are actually gonna see uh, Bobumja going back 
to where Boom Boom actually came from. We, we're going to learn about the history of the Boom Boom Lian, something like that, okay? So, very, very fun stuff. But like I said, this episode is crazy fun. But at the same time, the serious meter is raving up for a little bit okay slowly but surely raving up so really really fun stuff but in this episode another thing that really really caught my attention is for some weird reason they keep on mentioning the the fact that they they hey, can we even fight without tire and by the end of this episode we get to hear mira stating that hey we actually proved that we are able to fight without tire it really makes me wonder like why does mira say this sentence like why give her this sentence to say it, it really makes, makes makes me wonder like are we gonna see kind of like a potential death for our red ranger or maybe we are actually gonna see a a situation where in the future Taya is gonna go missing or something like that but they, 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 it's, it's kind of like a little bit of foreshadowing maybe not maybe yes we are not sure but that's just my own personal feeling okay so if it, it turns out to be true that something is gonna happen to them it's gonna be crazy but then again at the same time I, I'm just having fun speculating. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think the stories for all Bakwage Sentai Bomunja is gonna go towards in the future. Because I felt like it is still gonna stay really, really fun. And I felt like it is gonna stay really, really stupid. Okay. There are definitely some serious stuff going on for for the you know like the teenager to enjoy but i think most of the time boom boom ja is being created for for kids okay because of how we got an ending song you know like the the dancing dancing stuff and then there, there's a little bit of reminder that hey don't do this at the roadside don't play by the roadside something like that so this is definitely created for kid and i i really love it i i think when i just want to goof around the first thing that came to my mind for recently is I, I will just just randomly I will just boom 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 okay so I, I really love the boom 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 thing going on so I think they, they really make, make it really really memorable and really fun for even adults like us to, to really enjoy the show so I think props to them okay props to them but yeah how how is the story gonna move i'm definitely not sure but it is definitely gonna be some way fun and exciting with that being said that is all from me a short video but i hope you enjoy it let me know what do you really really think about this episode and what do you think of this series so far it has been six episodes in definitely you're gonna form your own thoughts whether you like it whether you hate it or you wish it to be more serious like Osama Sentai hey, 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 just, just, just let, let us talk okay in the comment section below and if you made it this far into the video it means you enjoy the content and I would like for you to comment the word what is one car pass that everyone needs but no one really talks about the wiper the wiper is gonna be the word for you today so comment the word wiper if you manage to finish the video thank you for watching goodbye